Little Red Riding Hood. If you'd like to buy the book or download the app, check out the link description down below. Once upon a time, next to a big forest, lived a little girl with her mum and her dad. Each time the little girl went to the forest, she wore a red hood. Everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mum had baked a cake. The cake was a present for Red Riding Hood's grandmother. Grandmother lived on the other side of the forest. Red Riding Hood's mum asked her to take the cake to Grandma. Mum told Red Riding Hood to keep on the pathway and do not step anywhere. She told her not to talk to strangers. Mum and Red Riding Hood waved goodbye to each other. Little Red Riding Hood went into the forest. She had a basket on her arm with a cake inside. A big bad wolf was watching her. He was very hungry. Little Red Riding Hood did not see him. He came beside Red Riding Hood. The wolf tried to sound friendly. He asked Red Riding Hood where she was going. She told him she was going to see her grandmother on the other side of the forest. The big bad wolf told Red Riding Hood that she should pick some flowers for grandmother. As Red Riding Hood was picking the flowers, the wolf ran off. He wanted to get to grandmother's house before Red Riding Hood. The big bad wolf arrived at grandmother's house. He knocked on the door. Grandmother asked who it was. The wolf changed his voice and said it was Red Riding Hood. Grandmother said the door was open. The big bad wolf let himself in. Grandmother saw him and began to scream. Before she could do anything, the big bad wolf swallowed grandmother up. <laughs> The big bad wolf was not satisfied. He wanted to eat Red Riding Hood as well. The big bad wolf dressed himself in grandmother's clothes. He climbed into her bed. He waited for Red Riding Hood to arrive. Red Riding Hood came to grandmother's house. She knocked at the door and asked if she could come in. The big bad wolf changed his voice. He sounded like her grandmother. He told her to come in. Red Riding Hood said what a deep voice her grandmother had. The wolf said it was better to greet her with. Red Riding Hood moved closer to her grandmother. She said what big eyes she had. The wolf said they were better to see her with. Red Riding Hood said what big ears Grandmother had. The wolf said they were better to hear her with. The wolf told her to move closer. Red Riding Hood said what big teeth she had. The wolf told her they were better to eat her with. The wolf jumped out of bed. Red Riding Hood screamed. Red Riding Hood ran from the house. The big bad wolf chased her. She saw a woodcutter. Red Riding Hood told him that the wolf had eaten her grandmother. The brave woodcutter picked up the big bad wolf. He shook him and the grandmother came out. She was shaken but safe and okay. The woodcutter, grandmother and little Red Riding Hood all watched the wolf run away. They were all happy now. The big bad wolf had gone. Red Riding Hood and her grandmother thanked the woodcutter. Little Red Riding Hood told her grandma and the woodcutter that she had learned a lesson. She would always follow her mother's instructions and never talk to strangers again. Now kids, the moral lesson from the story. Always obey your parents, never talk to strangers, even a friendly stranger can have bad intentions.